good afternoon students in this session we are going to learn how to develop a shopping cart application using cookies so using permanent cookies how can we develop a shopping cart application i will tell the difference between what is a temporary cookie and what is a permanent cookie in java now the requirements are forms.py and as well as use.py file right i quickly open my visual studio code so in my visual studio code Firstly, in forms dot py, I am going to write a form with a class name called item add form with two fields, item name and quantity. Now, these two fields are going to be imported in views dot py file along with our forms name. So here, from my app dot forms, import item add form. Now, I am going to define a first function with a name called index, which is the default function. I am going to call the home dot html file. Now, in order to add the item, I am going to call item add form class if the form valid or if the data is entered is successful i am going to enter the values into add item dot html right now if request dot method equal to post that is if the form is valid that is form is equal item add form of request dot post if the form is valid i am going to retrieve the values which was entered by the user that is name and quantity and i am going to set the cookie as response dot set cookie of name comma quantity comma 180 which is the time value whenever we are going to pass the time value here it is an example for a permanent cookie here the time value is calculated in the form of seconds so here it is nothing but max underscore age option which is a parameter that is passed for a cookie to make it as permanent cookie if at all we are going to skip this parameter then it will make it as temporary cookie only and i am going to print the name and as well as print the quantity also and finally i am going to return the response and finally i am going to create another function with a name called display item underscore view using which that is show items dot html file i am going to display the files or display the values that was entered by the user so totally in views.py file, I'm going to create three functions, index, add item and display item. Display item underscore view will display the items which was added by the user. Now coming to the first file that is home.html file. So in home.html file, after loading the template tag, I'm going to add certain stylings using bootstrap, which I have done in the previous video. Now here, this is the bootstrap code. We can skip it also or else we can add so that it makes colorful website. Now in the body tag, I am going to create some styling. So H1 style color equal to uh, something added blue and Vijayawada online shopping gap. And here I am going to give a message called enter the items to add. Now user is going to get two types of buttons. The first button is add item and second button is display item. So for this, I am going to refer add items.html file and as well as show items.html file. Now, Coming to add item.html file, that is if the form is valid, the data is going to be entered by the user. So here also I am going to load the template tag and I am going to call the bootstrap code for certain stylings. Then after calling the bootstrap code, I am going to add the body tag. So in the body tag, I am going to write a message called add item form. If the form is valid, I am going to call form dot as underscore p and csr of underscore token to make the form secure. That is if the form is secure then only Django will accept the data and input type is equal to submit and value equal to add item button and finally in the add items only I am going to list the button that is show item so that the item which was added by the user is displayed with the help of show items option that is show items button. Now what contains the show items? So in the show items I am going to display the data which was entered by the user. So in the body tag I am going to print a message called total cookies information. If the data is successful, I am going to retrieve it in a tabular form with a heading called cookie name and cookie value and the values are getted by using integrating variables concept in Django that is for key comma value in requested.cookies.items, I am going to retrieve the values. And finally, I am going to close the TR tag and also end the for loop. And also if the data is not entered, the cookie information is not available, message is going to be displayed. Now. In urs.py file, since it contains the two HTML files along with the original one, I am going to use the regular expressions concept that is dry URLs. So here I am going to call add items.html and show items.html. And this is the default value that is view.index is equal to name is index. Now I quickly open my command prompt and we can check what is temporary cookie and how much time it will persist. So I am going to navigate to my folder. Now I'm going to run python space manage.py space migrate 
for one time since it is a cookies concept now python space manage dot py space run server here i am going to open my browser and here you can clearly see that vijayawad online shopping app enter the items to add i am going to check the display item since the form is valid the csr of token the cookie value is going to be get by the django so this is the value now i am going to add the item then the first item let me say my item name is laptop and my quantity is 56 and i am going to select add item now i am going to call the second one let me say the second item is pen drive and the quantity is 100 and i am going to add the item the third item let me say bag and let me add the value as 2 now i am going to select an option called display items here you can clearly see that laptop pen drive bag was there now i am going to restart my application once again so that whether the cookie is persisted or not we can know so here i am going to quit the server and i am going to again run the server now here now i am going to click the button so let me refresh this one after 180 seconds one of the items is going to be removed so let me close this one and i am going to open once again control c control v now here i am going to select the display item so let me check if whether if we are going to select the refresh option the value is deleted or not so here we are not going to select the refresh option even though the values are not deleted so this is an example for a permanent cookie in django so permanent cookie can be set by using the max underscore as value so this is an example for online shopping cart application in django using cookies thank you